The quantum world is strange, and our intuition often needs to change, as we move from a classical to a quantum world. Entanglement, among all the quantum phenomena, is the one that differs most dramatically from classical statistical theory. However, entanglement is the main resource in quantum information theory. Quantum key distribution requires entanglement, quantum computers cannot outperform classical machines without entanglement. In quantum error correction, entangled states are of major importance. Indeed, basically all advantages of protocols in quantum information theory can be traced back to entanglement, being available in one way or the other. Nevertheless, because of the counterintuitive nature of entanglement, it often easily leads to wrong predictions. It is often stated, that if one measures a particle A, that is entangled with some other particle B, then this measurement will immediately affect the state of the entangled partner. For example, if Alice and Bob share an entangled pair of electrons and Alice measures her spin in the X direction, then Bob's spin will also end up spinning in that direction, and similarly if she measures in the Z direction. Moreover, the effect will be instantaneous, regardless of the distance between them, which seems to be violating special relativity. As a result, the misconception arises, that we might be able to send signals faster than light. However, this is not actually possible. In spite of entanglement, we are not allowed to send signals superluminally. This shows how well laws of physics are consistent with each other at a fundamental level. Entanglement is a property of a composite system meaning, we only observe entanglement, when we have more than one system. In order to be precise, let's look at the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. Mathematically, the state of an isolated physical system is represented by a state vector belonging to Hilbert space. For our purpose, we will only focus on the simple two-level system, which is also referred to as a qubit. Let ket0 denote one possible state of the system, and ket1 denote another possible state. The funny vertical bar and angle bracket that we place around the bit values are called Dirac notation. We can encode a classical bit into a qubit with the following mapping. So far, nothing in our description distinguishes a classical bit from a qubit, except for the funny notations. However, the structure of quantum theory allows arbitrary superpositions of the above two states. These alpha and beta are probability amplitudes, and they do allow us to calculate probabilities. The states ket0 and ket1 are called computational basis, which is the standard basis employed in quantum computation and communication. However, there are other bases that are important as well. One particular important basis is because of its importance, there also exists a Dirac notation shorthand for it, and we will call them a diagonal basis. Furthermore, the diagonal basis can also be defined in terms of the computational basis, ket0 and ket1. Now that we discussed how to represent a quantum state, let's see how to obtain a result out of the measurement. For our purpose, we will only focus on performing measurements in z and x directions only. Suppose, we measure the state with the z operator, then the state collapses to the state ket0 with probability absolute alpha squared, and to the state ket1 with probability absolute beta squared. Similarly, if we measure the state with x operator, it will collapse to the diagonal state with corresponding amplitudes. Since the state ket0 is in an equal superposition of ket plus and minus, if we measure the state with x operator, the state collapses to the state ket plus and ket minus with an equal probability of one half. However, if we measure state ket zero in the z direction, it would have stayed in the same state. Finally, let's talk about entanglement. While Alice and Bob both have possession of their qubit, it is not clear just from the state how to determine the individual state of Alice or the individual state of Bob. A bipartite state is called entangled if it cannot be written as a product state. When we have a product state, Alice and Bob can clearly describe what their state is. And, what they do their state doesn't affect the other state. 